Hello everyone, this is a short video on the various components that make the leaf mask. Right now over here we have the leaf UV and this is the black variant of the leaf mask. And uh, although the leaf UV, the Pro and HEPA, they all have the exact same body and exact same components. The only difference is that the UV and the Pro have some special color options that, ha that happen to change the color of the grill and the inner part of the exhaust and uh, of course they have some electronics and smart features to them so starting with the various components this is the mask body this is made out of soft optical grade silicon and this is fda food grade so you can uh, you can just be not worried about just having this on your face and uh, this uh, this is this is the leaf UV, so it's it's not having the air shield. So the difference between the leaf UV and the uh, HEPA and uh, the UV and the Pro, they both have this uh, anti-fogging built into the silicon. So you need not actually install the air shield all the time, but yes, you can always install it to extend the life of the mask. So uh, that's about the coating. The, the the silicon itself also has an embedded antivirus and antimicrobial coating and uh, the coating is SGS certified so the entire body including all the components still there, the transparent body is actually having an embedded antivirus coating in it. So uh, that way it's, it's a very very advanced uh, piece of material that you have over here and it's, it's extremely durable but not really designed for too much of abuse. And then of course we have this uh, patent pending magic fit wire which goes all around the mask body until the bottom and this allows this mask to magically tailor to your face no matter what's the size and of course you have to select the right size of the mask for your face but then it, it really tailors very well to your face and it just stays there so for example I just twitch this from here and just it stays there it, it just it's not gonna spring back it conforms to your face and just becomes your mask so that's the magic fit technology the straps are also it, it's a patent pending design so the, the really good part is that actually when you wear this even with a lot of force these straps usually in, in most of the cases we've tested they will not touch your skin uh, so they're actually floating straps and uh, so this is the, about the mask body now we have the ear straps uh, right now we, we just rename them as leaf straps because uh, they become head straps and if you just unplug this from here and and you know just plug this right on the other side it becomes the ear straps the loops become uh, go this way and then you can use this as an ear strap so they are extremely durable again made out of silicon and they are very elastic so you know they can go up to 600 percent of their size and uh, they've been tested and certified to handle up to 40 newtons of force which is the requirement as per the standard but um Unlike other masks, which require a lot of force for you to apply to actually create a great seal, leaf mask is is actually conforming to your face when you adjust it with your with your with your finger and you know around your nose and the various parts of the face. So ideally, you would usually require less than half amount of force to get the exact same seal. That's the magic of the the design. And that's about it for the leaf straps. Now, going ahead to the other parts, which we have the exhaust system and the grill, and of course, the filters that go inside. So the exhaust system has an exhaust outer, as you can see, this is the outer part. We have the inner part, which is designed to basically hold the, hold the filter in it. And we, have the, and we have the diaphragm. So I could just try to zoom in and show you that. So this, this part right here, that, that little lines that you see inside uh, it's a part of the diaphragm so this diaphragm allows the air to actually move in just one direction that means move out of the mask and the air cannot actually come inside the mask from that direction so the purpose of this is of course that uh, you know when you're breathing in the air that comes in th goes through the filter in the in the uh, in the intake which is a HEPA filter and when you're breathing out it goes right out outside the exhaust so uh, that is the exhaust on the inner side you have an optional uh, attachment wherein you can put an n95 exhaust filter this is exhaust filter it, it goes right here so in case uh, 
you can just install it here this allows you to filter the air that goes outside the mask so in case you're like you're living in an area where it's compulsory to have masks without walls or it's uh, you, know, you want to protect people around you where in your world you might just actually risk their life uh, or contaminate the place you can just put the exhaust filters and uh, just not be worried about that so that is the that is the exhaust system then coming to the, the the key part that is the this is the I just sit in the back okay this is the HEPA filter and the grill of the mask so the grill of the mask is a signature one over here you see the USB-C for powering the the UVC lights to sterilize the mask and um, in the pro it's also going to be the same the, the color could be different you have different color options in the pro but uh, this is the signature grill that we have that dramatically enhances the surface area of the surface um, and uh, on this side you can see there's a bracket which holds this this grill in place although we are also uh, sealing this grill with the body we have an additional bracket to give mechanical locking also this bracket right here also has the serial number of the mask written here so that ensures that you're wearing a, a genuine leaf mask and over here you can see the HEPA filter so this one is the generation one filter it's not having its own body um, all the leaf masks happen to ship out with this one and after that the filter that you get in the packs that's a three months six months or or the 12 month pack uh, any additional filters they'll be shipping with the generation two filters they'll be having their own bodies and they will look something like this this is just the body of that uh, there's a filter inside and the whole body is disposable along with the filter so you can just pull it out and throw it away put a new one so these generation two filters will be shipping out um, to all the customers who bought the filters so the second month when you replace this one you have the generation to filter it's got a soft rubber cushioning all around so that allows a very very solid seal um, in the uh, uh, in the mask so that um, the air doesn't escape from the sides and that's about it okay so that's that's it for all the key components of the leaf mask this is the leaf UV and uh, by the way this is the leaf UV so I would just definitely show you the leaf UV sterilization so let's go ahead uh, let me take the liberty to power it up so ideally we don't do not recommend you to actually just uh, plug this hair uh, later like directly we recommend that you plug the this this wire first and then uh, plug the other end of the USB wire that ensures that your hands are safe from the UV light which might you know reflect from the surface and come out a little bit of it i'll just dial down the light to show you the uv sterilization that's the okay now when you're plugging in the usb just provide it some support from here so that you don't accidentally crush the mask because the the connector are usually a little tight so let's just go ahead and plug it there we go okay so now this this is sterilizing so the, this there's a there's a three UVC LEDs that actually fire up and uh, they're pointed towards the mask. As you can see, there's three radiuses that are forming here. And these are actually sterilizing the mask, uh, sorry, the filter inside the mask. And uh, usually it, it happens uh, in a very short duration of time. You can uh, you, you not worry <clears throat> by plugging it for a longer duration. You can just plug it overnight let's say you use it the whole day and plug it and leave it after some time you'll see the uv the leds will start flashing that's primarily because it's thermally throttling itself just to ensure things don't overheat because the leds are actually very powerful and they get hot real fast so there is a thermal throttling system inside the mask which ensures that the leds don't heat up so much that they might just melt plastic or damage the filter so that's about it guys this is having uh this is like now all of all the parts in the leaf uv and uh, leaf hepa would just not have this uh, uvc and uh, of course the leaf hepa i just have a leaf hepa body here this is the leaf hepa body in the leaf hepa body you'll see there is an air shield inside so this is hard and uh, this uh, hepa does not have uh, a coating in silicon so if you take out this air shield it will start fogging up um, 
and you can always change this air shield we have a separate video in which we'll explain how to change the air shield how to change the exhaust filters how to change the hepa filter how to change the straps but uh, the key thing the air shield actually extends the life of your mask because we'll be uh, coming up with air shield packs real soon they're going to be really cheap so you can usually extend the life of your mask up to one year by taking a five shield pack uh, and it's, it's really affordable at, at less than ten dollars so and that covers the air shield also. That's about it, guys. This is this is the gray version of Leaf Hopper by, by, by chance. So this is the gray, that's the black. And uh, I just have the grill for the blue. So we have blue, which is coming up in the pro. And we have uh, a, a, a special red color and white color also. That's about it, guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye.